patience, persistence, good comedy skills. These are all things that are crucial in life. Welcome to Moon Glow Meadow. Now, good evening, dear listeners. You know, I'm surprised you're all here. I thought that you were all... Hung at the stake. Well, I guess not. Let's go to traffic. Well, there's nothing to report. Darn it. Well, there goes our pizza. Again. Well, that was traffic, I guess. We're sorry. The delegates from another country took a hike today on clouded cliffs. They all mysteriously disappeared not long after five strange deaths were counted. If you do find one of these delegates, they may be confused and hungry. Take them to your local abyss, for everyone's safety. I'll remember to throw out your trash. Our annual death parade is taking place this week, today and Tuesday. You might be asking yourself, why you have no Monday? Well, I have the answer. You should all have the answer. Monday is the forbidden day, you bumbling idiots. Nothing takes place on Monday. It is meant to be boring beyond compare. If something does happen on your Monday, it is malfunctioning. See your troubleshooting pamphlet for more information. Same goes with interns. If they ask for money or a promotion, find the switch hidden in their middle back of every intern and turn them on and off again until they work. If nothing helps, call tech support for help. This has been Troubleshooting. Now our section is a little conversation slash experiment. We want to know the weird things that are happening to you right now. But if you just want to chat, that's fine too. If you have never heard our number before, it is 556-666-6667. We have our first caller on the line. Hello there. Um, my house is on fire. Okay, is it emitting a faint humming sound? Yeah, actually. Is your house made of meat, like most houses in the suburban area of Moon Glow Meadows? Oh yes, of course. The sun is trying to cook your house. It might want to possess you as well. Take a look at your troubleshooting manual for more help. That is, if you still have it. Okay then, thank you. Thank you. Caller number two, what's your problem? Doritos. I don't really know how you people live in the Applakian, Appalachian, Apple, Applakian, um, Applakian Mountains. I thought it was common knowledge that mountains don't exist. No, no, mountains exist. <laughs> you can't be serious. Okay, we just got called by an alternate dimension or something. Um, next caller, what's going on with you? Oh, this was a terrible idea, wasn't it? Anyway, hello, caller 4. Oh, it's one of you prank callers. Classic. Thanks a lot. Um, okay. hi there. Are uh, combustible cakes with an exploding range of five feet allowed in Moon Glow Meadow? While combustible cakes are allowed, no, it can only be three feet in range now. Okay, better throw this thing out then. Ugh. It's wonderful to see that there are good people in Moon Glow Meadow. Good evening. Oh, yes. Good evening, too. It's evening. It's evening. Wait. 
<laughs> time zones, <laughs> never mind. I am going to be coming to your town in a week, and I'd like to know what types of clothes I should wear there because of the climate and things. Do you have any recommendations? Well, it's pretty cold here during these months, so I suggest you pack long sleeve shirts, sweaters, coats, and things of that sort. Oh, great, thank you. Well, I do hope that you have fun here. Take note that there's going to be a... Sir? Oh, never mind. Anyway, let's My son just rocketed into space! Um, how did this happen? You see, we were trying to light our meat house on fire for dinner, but when he was going to light the matches, his legs just lifted up and boom! Are you sure he didn't blow up in midair? Was he wearing... Rocket boots, by any chance? Those are illegal. I would never let my son have them. Okay, ma'am. I don't know how to help you. I'm, I'm sorry. We're a radio show, not Dr. Phil. Okay, our verdict is, we are never, ever doing one of those things again. Ever. Alright, alright. More news about the death parade. One of the floats from hell is spreading on fire and other... Debris. Can you call dead souls debris? Well, we're just gonna call it debris and leave it at that. Now a word from one of our sponsors. Welcome. 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 Welcome, 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 welcome. Ha! You just spent basically a minute of your life listening to someone say welcome over and over again. Ha! What a sad life you have. And welcome back. The dead souls are now traveling around town and are screaming at innocent bystanders. Such as lawyers and owners of marigold flowers. They are also screaming at Billy. But Billy really deserves it. He really, really does. Only does is steal food, listen to didgeridoo music. Who listens to didgeridoo music? And dances like a freaking ostrich. Who can dance like an ostrich anyway? I mean, really, yeah, totally. You totally hear about people going to clubs and dancing like an ostrich. But that's because Billy is a failure. Everything he does is a failure. Did you see that invention that he made two years ago? It ruined our town. It blew up everything in a 10 mile radius. I mean it. Billy is awful. Billy is really, really awful. And I'm not proud to call him part of my family. I mean, really. Whoops, got a little too personal there. Now, since we need money, here's another advertisement. Since we're broke, haha, <laughs> we suck. Hello there, I'm you. Oh yes, you might be denying it, but I'm you. Ha, you're looking at me with quite the bewildered face right now. How I'm using, correct? You were probably thinking, what the hell is happening? Of course, you'd think I'd respond with, of course I know that you think this is crazy. But I'm not going to say it. Instead, I'm going to ask you if you really believe that I'm you. Then again, if I'm you, if I ask that, you're the same person after all. You will start to have an existential crisis. Which you are having right now, right? Of course I am. I'm you after all. How funny, correct? Have I messed up your brain yet? This has been a PSA by Taco Bell. Taco Bell, live moss. Okay, um, this damned parade float is shooting fireballs and dead souls at rapid speeds. I don't know what to think anymore. Several lawyers have become skin sacks and florists in the area are being chased out of floral shops into suspiciously large empty buildings on the outskirts of town that no one can recall ever seeing in their entire lifetime. Huh. However, the archives are extremely messed up at this point. We know it, you know it, the elderly know it, that dog that ran into the portal and never came back knows it. 
Maybe except for the mayor herself. She's been acting extremely odd as of late. In one time, when I came over to give her my script, she wouldn't even look at it. She was just pecking like a chicken at the desk. Very, very concerning. But this is not the time to ponder questions about my own fictional universe. How about yours? Okay, that's interesting. Um, a fireball has just been lodged into the side of my office. The poor, poor wall. I can hear it screaming in agony. It's okay, Antonio. We'll help you soon enough. Meanwhile, I am moving my business to the other side of the room and... The wall just, just came down, and there's a whole brigade of fireballs coming right at me. Right at my beautiful, beautiful face. We don't have time for any more commercials, so I can't leave, and... Uh... Welcome back, listeners. The Death Parade float has been contained, and is now only attacking lawyers and people who own marigold flowers in their backyards. Remember, do not show up on Monday. If you do, the secret government will come and take you. They will. Don't think they won't. There's a rumor that they buried someone alive in 98. The future is here. Good night, Moonglow. Good night.